is the most stressful time of year, isn't it? A lot of stress in our lives this time of year. And the most stressful job is cooking dinner for your entire extended family. It's enough to send your blood pressure through the roof. And this is one case where as a doctor, there's nothing that I can do. But I know someone who can. The queen of fuss-free cooking is here to solve your biggest holiday cooking disasters, and she's even gonna make them healthier in the process. Because you know what? Rachel Ray is here. <laughs> She's the master of simple, stress-free cooking. It is the holiday, so we want to make it a little festive. She's written 18 cookbooks, hosted numerous food and travel shows, runs her own magazine, and inspires millions of busy women and foodies every day on her Emmy Award-winning talk show. I'm making a snappy schnitzel. <laughs> So it's no wonder we enlisted Rachel to help take the guesswork and anxiety out of cooking for the holidays. It's the Charlie Brown cooking. <laughs> it's Rachel to the rescue. She's going to fix the cooking disasters that can ruin your meal. No holiday party is complete without a roast, unless it's a dry, charred mess like this. I am so horrible at making gravy. I have to use this. I've been trying to make potato latkes for years, and instead of being crispy, they turn into a gross, soggy mess. My vegetables are so mushy. Rachel, please help me with my vegetable disaster. Rachel, please help me. Please help me. Please help save my holidays. Today, find out Rachel's simple secrets to make it a holiday meal your family will never forget. She's the host of the Rachel Ray Show, and my friend, Rachel Ray. Come on out, Rachel. Handsome. How are, How are you? How are you? I just met the Latka lady. Oh, my God. We got to talk about Latka and Latka stuff. Thank you. Come on over. All right. I'm so happy to have you here. I don't think I've ever gotten a standing O in my life. That was exciting. You deserve them all. That was so thrilling. Thank you. Happy holidays. Same to you. I get asked all the time about stress in the holidays, and I've been talking about it mm -hmm. in different ways. But I got to say, this makes me intimidated. Yeah. So thank you for coming on. Talk to me a little bit about cooking and stress. Why is it such a problem this time of year? You know, people set themselves up for failure rather than success. They try and make the cover of a food magazine or something that they uh, know was a family favorite from back in the day. You should only make what you know. You should make food that you know you make well. Yeah. And you should stop trying to make the, the idyllic, you know. Stop trying to make what you've seen in a movie or seen on the cover of a card. It's not about that. You should make what you know. Yeah. And there's no law that says you have to have a goose or a ham or a turkey. If everybody loves lasagna, make five lasagnas. Make what makes your family happy, you know? And make it ahead of time so that the day that you're trying to enjoy with your family is not spent with you nervous in the kitchen, dropping things and hands all a-trembling. That's, that's not fun. That's not a holiday. Let me get personal with you because I'm curious how you yeah. would deal with it. So, talk to me about your biggest disaster because I've had catastrophes whenever I walk into the kitchen. I stayed away from baking for 35 years because when I was 12, I tried to make my mother a lemon cottage cake from, I think it was the Good Housekeeping Cookbook. <laughs> it was my mother's favorite from her... Uh, youth, you know, and I tried to make this cake, and I worked on it for hours and hours, and it was a total disaster, and I cried so hard, my eyes were almost swollen. You're, you're cheering shut. up now. Yeah, it she was horrible. It was terrible. I hated it. And I didn't bake again until Mother's Day when I was 42 or something. Like, 30 years later, I made her some eclairs, and they came out great, but Why it, they... it kept me away from baking forever. All right. Here's the deal today. A lot of you are scared and intimidated, yeah. uh, and sometimes there are things that, like baking that's sort of outside your comfort zone. So what we did, we scoured the country asking for our viewers to send in ideas about their worst holiday cooking disasters. And seated right over there are three <laughs> brave women who came forward. Now, I met them backstage. <laughs> now, Hello, ladies. You're just a few. You represent hundreds of women who wrote yeah. to us about stories, the very same kinds of problems you're focused on today. So we're going to go through these. These will be very valuable to all of you at home who have any intention of doing any cooking over the holidays. Simple, so, simple fixes. 